we've reached the end of the show, but I have one last story you're gonna love. This is what I'm liking. This summer, Tokyo hosts the Olympic Games, followed by the Paralympic Games in August. One face you should know is this guy, Ezra Freck. At 16 years old, he's the youngest Paralympian competing for the Team USA track and field team. Ezra was born missing his left knee, his left shin bone, and several fingers, but that hasn't stopped him. Let's get him in here. What's up, Ezra? Hi, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Man, you're such an inspiration. Um, and you discovered sports at quite an early age, right? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I've been playing sports ever since I was a little kid. You know, as I, as I got older, um, you know, living with disability, everywhere I go, I was stared at, people were pointing fingers, whispering, and so sports used, used was more like a sanctuary, somewhere where I could go where I wasn't thinking about my disability as much. I was just one of the guys playing the sport, allowed me to sort of escape from that and uh, just be an athlete, be a kid, which is, you know, I love to compete. And so yeah, I've been playing sports for a while. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love playing sports growing up, just having those friendships. It was all, it was, it's all great. Um, when did you start training for the Paralympics? I had, I had known about the Paralympics and I had been competing in track and field since I was about eight years old, but it wasn't until the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio where I saw a lot of my friends, people who I knew competing on the biggest stage in the world, highest level of competition. And I was like, that's what I want to do with my life. And then, you know, I told my parents right after watching, I think I told them, I was like, I'm going to make it to the 2020 Tokyo Paralympic Games. And I, I made a, a pledge, and then fast forward four or five years, I'm in the position to do so. So I'm, it's, it's been a blessing and an awesome journey so far. Oh my gosh, I wish you could have seen my face watching them show that back. Like my whole, I was in slow motion. Oh, the high jump? <laughs> that was amazing, it's, it's insane. So and, you, you also help athletes just like yourself. Can you tell us more about your nonprofit? Yeah, my family and I, back in 2015, we realized there was this huge gap in adaptive sports programming. Cause you know, if you're in a wheelchair, you can't just roll up to the YMCA and play wheelchair basketball with all the able-bodied people playing pickup there. And my family and I, you know, we started this nonprofit to sort of provide the sports opportunities, provide the community, you know, for a lot of these athletes who maybe feel like outsiders, you know, walking around the world, getting stared at 24 seven and fingers pointed. So yeah. we started a nonprofit to provide sports for them. Yeah. That's amazing that you're not only thinking of yourself, you're thinking for others. You're a good man. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Ezra. I'm liking your post right now, right? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. That, that's not all, my man. This season, we've partnered with Pilot G2 Pin, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, and they want to recognize great people doing great things, and that is definitely you. Uh, so they're going to give you $1,000 so you can keep doing great things through Angel City Sports. How about that? Wow. Thank you. Absolutely. Everybody be sure to watch the Tokyo Olympics starting July 23rd and the Tokyo Paralympics starting August 24th on NBC. Thank you so much for joining us. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.